Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point Terror from the Void. We have a couple of things on the go at the moment. Uh, we have a Pandoran Nest, we have a Pandoran Citadel, both of those need to be cleared up. Uh, uh, the B team is on their way across to try and help out with this uh, Haven defense, uh, defending Anu against the Forsaken. And the short bus is on its way flying around the world uh, to try and get down to this citadel before we can take it out. What I might do is I might send the A-team quickly across to do the nest and then we'll swing back so we don't waste time uh, being tired in between. I think that's probably a smart play, but we'll we'll find out as time goes on. We're looking to get that capture is, is really the short of it. <coughs> All right, so uh, B team is moving on up. Let's uh, let's keep tabs on them and keep watching the behemoth, as uh, there might be flyers that end up spawning and research needing shooting down. All right, a little bit more research coming along. Light sniper rifle is going to be there pretty quickly. Ooh, and the Ugothian entity after that. What I might do is just check to see if there's anything in particular that we're definitely going to want on these. Doesn't look like it. Uh, we can we can push the Anu Religion up quickly because that's super cheap. We can push the Terra Sentinel up as well. Um, yeah, let's let's try and get through a bunch of cheap ones early on. Researching the lair isn't really going to give us anything further. It'd be nice if you had to research the lair before you could actually go and take out a lair. Um, but that might slow the uh, the actual... <coughs> oh, excuse me. The actual gameplay down just just too much. Um, right, yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. So, attacking the nest. We need to wait for the rest of the team to arrive. Let's send them in and we'll try and be quick about this. Now, some people are tired. Uh, that's fine. <coughs> it's not going to be a particular problem. Um, what we'll do is... We could leave those two behind this time, actually, and send in Bowl and Ruby. Oh, except that's too many people. So, yeah, we'll just leave them behind and we'll just send in the six. Well, that's going to make, actually, sorting out... Uh, yeah, doing the Citadel difficult. While we're here, let's do the experimental treatment on Hick. Stamina reduced to zero it makes no difference because he was already there. And the same on Aline. Apparently just cleared. Good. Well, that'll be quite nice. Let's send the team in. Okay, we're going to look to do this as quickly as possible. And we don't have Ready. a frenzy on this mission. So, how are we going to move people around quickly and effectively? Well, we're going to start off with those who are Be right far there. forwards. Hostile. And try and get what we can. Repositioning. Got a visual. That's pretty good visuals. That's a lot of good visuals, actually. And we have our first actual target down the end. Love to see it. Can we get anyone into position to actually attack it? Possibly. Possibly, possibly. And in fact, if we get over here... We can mark it for death and do some very efficient actions. Rolling out. So, mark for death on this thing. Uh, we can't do any willpower stuff because we we are basically ruined. Zooming in. So we may as well just do as much damage as we can. Although we could save this for shooting shooting an arm. So. Uh, 
if instead we're doing it with just the plink plink. Gotcha. That's pretty good. We can do another one of those and then we can start quick aiming or we can start the quick aiming now and be able to go on overwatch afterwards. Ready to fire. Let's let it puff out a teeny bit. That looks a bit better. It's not amazing, but nice. mm. target. Just a little bit too inaccurate for what I want. That was better. We do still need one more. All I need is a clear shot. Okay. First target is gone. We'll stick our I'll stay behind. Overwatch there. And we can get other people going on Overwatch as well, but let's uh Let's focus on pushing people forwards this direction. Because if we can find where the second hatcher is, we could end this before it re really begins. I wonder if it would likely be in, in this area. Probably not. Got 160. You know what? Let's Sprinting. let's push long. Push long, and we'll bring Isaac up this way. And maybe we'll hit this with something next turn. Probably get a little bit closer without waking it up. Just about. It's a mind fragger, so you know. Definitely don't want to be really tickling it sort of. unnecessarily. Uh, we should also do some some healing while we're here. We do have a few injuries that are worth paying attention to. We can do some supporting Overwatch that way. I'm here, and I think we'll let's do this. Step out with Nicole. Maybe mm, can't really see him. Take this guy's pincer off if we can. Missed it. Failed to connect there. Well, we tried. Target still alive. Oh, that supporting Overwatch was not quite enough. So I think we might be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, damage we're going to take this turn. Really wanted to take that guy's pincer off. Acid. It's not direct damage, but it's not going to help us out, that's for certain. Yeah. Right, stuff we can deal with. All set. Identifying target. If we shoot through, can we hit the other guy? Not really. Oh, let's just. Oh, well, actually, it's possible. Taking aim. Guys, pincer off at the back. guy killed in front. So he's still got a 
face, which is dangerous. Confirming target. So we could take off the spitter head and then just let him bleed out. That head is no threat, but the acid launcher and the pincer both are. Attack successful. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, Kirsty, you do need to sort out your health, so let's do that first. Resting up a bit. And let's see what we can do at the back. So the only reason we can't hit the guy behind is just because you're in the way. I think we can hit him. Nope. Apparently, apparently we can't. That's fine. We'll do the Overwatch thing. Overwatch thing is fine by me. Let's keep moving in on this side. See if we can figure out where we're supposed to be going. Hostile. <coughs> so Becky's off by herself, not found anything yet. Which means it's probably going to be up that way. That mine fragger is going to need to go, so I think we're going to have to do some bashing. <coughs> That's quite a lot of damage to do to the hell cannon. Okay, that's a little better. Don't know if we're going to be able to get past this without triggering it, though. Which is annoying because we're like just on the, just on the very edge. I think we're going to have to stay where we are. Okay, Kirsty. Uh. Bit of plink plink. Need an angle. Hell, just do it with the Overwatch. That was not enough uh, damage output. Pretty sure that was a kill. Okay, we have a new direction. And potentially new targets from that. That's good enough. We could take some shots there. Just hit the wall. Ready. Step forward a bit. Try the actual snipe. Yeah, go for the head. That should okay, have gone in the carapace. Not quite the uh, amazing shot we were hoping for, but also not not entirely terrible. Sure thing. Right. That's at least one of them gone. Easy enough. Isaac, I think we're going to have to get you in to take out this mind fragger because I don't think Becky would make it. Well, if we if we ran, Becky would. I 
I'll keep going. So step in, take it out. That clears things up quite considerably. We do a little jet jump, not quite. Maybe if we step a tiny bit to the side. Now we can jet jump in a teeny bit. Hopefully we can bash him enough. There we go. His arm is gone. I don't think he's got anything. I can still still spit, but that's not too bad. Let's come to the side slightly, get a teeny bit of eyes in here. And last but not least, Xavier, we're going to start bringing you up this way. Try and see what's going on. Alright, so this is not going to be an easy push through, that's for certain. You know what? Finish where you are. There's the reinforcements. That'd be from this guy. Now he moved so he didn't spit, so we got that working for us. Can't bash him with that. Can bash him with this. Let's just finish him off. And then push on in here. Okay, still no visual. But we do have a target right next to us. I think is just going to fall over when he gets hit by this. It's going to be an Arthrum, but we'll uh, we'll deal with that as it as it actually happens. So does that mean like maybe over the back there? I guess uh, this guy's going to have to run towards us if he wants to do any stabbing. So let's bring Becky this way. As an alternative. Looks dangerous. Right, yeah, it's round this corner, so we're gonna accidentally hatch everything. But at the very least we've knocked that one. I think we need to kill another couple of these to keep things safe. That Let's hurt, have a look. It? See you in the next life. Okay, let's uh, push in as far and as fast as we can. We might need to take some uh, mind fraggers off people, depending on what happens. All set. Actually, you can see this one. You can see that one. Right, go for the mind fragger. Because the mind fragger is actually dangerous. Poison worm, not so much. I'm torn. I'm torn. I really want to take out that that other mind fragger. But I think we can probably get away with ignoring it. Guess it's my turn. Kirsty, let's do you because you're a no-brainer down here. Online. And Mario. All I need is a clear shot. If you can hit this a few times. Then our problem goes away. Or the question goes away, I should say. 
One more will do. Please don't miss with the tiny little sliver on each of the sides. We got him. Okay, good. And yeah, move a little bit closer. Gotta keep on pushing. Okay, so Xavier, we can get closer and take this out. Identifying target. That makes That's things a lot a safer, just just from a uh, things that might hatch kind of level. He's gonna probably come running around this way, but by the time he reaches anyone, we'll have finished this off. So what's the Umbra gonna do? Oh! The Umbra is not actually gonna go for Isaac. Stand there. That's a that's a good place to be. Right, Becky. We bring Becky round and hit this thing. Either we stun it or we kill it. Either way it dies. Because if we stun it, we did not stun it. And we did not kill it. This is not quite what I was expecting. Okay, plan B. B for no choice but to keep going. balls up, which is what this is a little bit. Uh, let's Need a step in and do the bashing. Okay, that solves one issue. And then I think we want to push and see where this thing is. Hope I can find cover. Smells like trouble. There it is. So yeah, we know we've, yes. we've got to go far with it. All right. We'll do the shot over the shoulder. Just go center mass. And then start playing catch up. Mario, we can get two shots with your crossbow on the umbra from here. That's awesome. <gasps> Biggest thing about this, it doesn't take ammo. On the mark. Which means we're not spending resources to do it. And then we can the get move. right next to it with a shotgun blast to finish it off. We got to keep going. Okay, we've closed a lot of distance. Ready to finish it off next turn. Yeah, you're too far away to do anything no melee-based. We could move in and do a couple of bashes for fun. Is damaging a little bit, but not too much. Keep it together, operative. Hell, we could just completely beat this thing to death. Can you move further? Yes, you can. Can't quite make it in one go. And we can't quite get in position to use the Hell Cannon on it. Alright, well, we'll get in place for next turn. We're not in a super rush for this, so we may as well save what resources we can. Running. Guess it's my turn. 
Okay, Nicole. I believe that there's going to be something come around that corner. On the move. So we can have you doing a little bit of a defense, just in case. Taking point. What's the plan? Becky, we can almost get you round. Ready for action. And Mario, yeah, let's move you up so you can it's at least thing. see what's happening. There's what's happening. All I need is a clear shot. Well, get a shot at him. Look at that. Zooming in. Hey, you hit the first shot, so I'm happy enough. Yeah, that was not a surprise. They're doing Overwatch. Ready? So I think we actually just um, finish this thing off with the bash. And a bash. Save on the ammo, save on the resources. It just ended up taking us another turn. Oh my word, one experience shy, Mario. So close. Okay, well the nest has been destroyed. So everyone's happier about that. Now, what I'm thinking... We know that... Mario was struggling with Delirium because Delirium is completely over the top. So, given we're already going to have to wait for the tired people, I think we treat everyone and see what happens. Stamina reduced to zero, that's fine. Stamina reduced to zero, that's fine. Nothing happened there. Stamina reduced to zero. Nothing happened. Stamina reduced to zero. Stamina reduced to zero. Okay, so a lot of the team, a lot of the A team, I should say, is tired. But, all the delirium's gone. So we're going to be in a much better place when we actually move up for the Citadel. And it's going to make a big difference being able to actually action uh, special abilities and things as we need. Research complete. We can do the motion detection module. We can do the motion detection module. We are going to make a hell of a lot of these. Locates all nearby enemies, even behind obstructions. Ah, uh, geez, we can't really afford that many. We are so low on resources. All right, let's 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 be a bit more moderate with this. Uh... One, two, three, four. So two per team. Two per team is going to be fine. And, hmm. Yeah, right. So let's have a look at stuff that we don't need. We don't need seven spare Cyclopses. That's better. That is just better, Flat. We don't need nine... Spare Bulldogs. Yeah, we don't have a resource issue. We've got a logistics issue. Uh, two Neural Sniper Rifles. We could maybe make another one of those, but probably not needed needed. When it comes time to capture, we've, uh, we've got plenty that we're going to be doing. In fact, let's, let's show everything. Five Redeemers might be a bit excessive as well. Three Deceptors probably also excessive. We don't need the Synedrian Crossbows at all.
All right, resources are restocked. So I was making eight of these. That's much better. We have a craft that is in need of interception. All right, you've made it back, so you're going to be resting. This Berith is going to be difficult. Where is it actually flying to? Has it gone past the Anu place? Yes, it has. Research complete. Research the Anu religion. And in fact, for the production. Right, the Medusa is EMP damage. See, I don't really see the benefit of this for us. If there was a lot more um, fighting against human targets, then, yeah, EMP damage is potentially brilliant, but it shouldn't end up disabling Pandora and stuff, so the benefit feels questionable. Research complete. Acid worm autopsy is done, and I think we're going to get to do this aerial combat. Right, we have maximum armor, so we don't care about anything other than getting rid of the napalm breath and then the ram. Good start. Not a good continuation. Okay, the breath is gone. Did it set us on fire? Yes, it did. So we're going to need to disengage anyway. Taking out the napalm breath is going to make it a lot easier for our second craft. Intercept. Uh, we're going to do much the same, except we're going to focus on the ram. We are likely to take a bit of blink blink damage from it. Come on. Okay, we've destroyed the ram. The nomad is in mm, a bit of trouble. I think we can we can probably keep on it for a bit. Yeah, just, just keep the focus where it is. We're going to need some pretty big repairs. But I'd rather have one craft repair. have both the lead and lot of repairs. Good job. Right. Battlehawk definitely needs to go for some maintenance. You're also going to need to go for some maintenance, but we can probably just send you somewhere nearby. Come down there. In fact, you can also come down that way. Research complete. Light sniper rifle is there. With some quick aiming. Or with uh, something like rapid clearance. This has got the potential to do a lot of uh, tidy up. Uh, I don't think we'll be using it. I'm not a huge fan of it. But I can see the practicality for it existing. 
Uh, I can see there is a uh, good justification for it. Okay, Battlehawk has been rearmed. Swoopmaster has been rearmed. Swoopmaster just needs a teeny bit of maintenance. Right, Swoopmaster is back. Let's get it up here. I think the B team is not quite going to make it. Oh, actually, they might make it in time. Yeah, that is uh, that is going to be just in time. All right. Well, let's uh, let's wallop this out uh, so that it's done. And next time, uh, uh, in fact, yeah, we should be able to do this quickly because it's it's just the forsaken. Uh, we can only take six people in, so. Uh, let's try and make it the least experienced that we actually want to be getting experience. I do want Izzy there. Sorry, Rafa, you're going to have to stay behind. And in fact, while we're here, we have... The additions that we can put in. Uh, so, Lever gets one. Izzy's probably not going to be worth having one. Jordan can have one. Luana can definitely have one. And... Probably gunless, I think. Like, it's the kind of thing that eventually I want it on everyone, but for now this will this will do. Let's send them in. Okay, so straight off the bat, we're going to do what we always do. We're going to get frenzy in place, and then we're looking to see if there's any tactical options such as grabbing defenders. Don't see any immediately, so we're going to want to move in with people who are relatively stealthy and. Uh, and see what we can do. I don't really want to send I was born either of our stealth people through the mist here. So actually, I'm going to start off with a jet jump. Check this out. Kind of into the open, and mm, still no visuals. If we go like. Here, that's a reasonable place to launch uh, bombardment Ready, from, is what I'm thinking. Receiving. Okay, Luana will bring you over this way. Reporting enemy contact. All right. Don't know how we didn't see them before, but uh, you're facing a pack of the Forsaken called the Bravo Rabbits. Their leader is Azalot, using the tactic Retribution. Enemy characters, oh, sorry, enemies that attack the character become marked for death. Okay, so there is a priest. Ready is to engage. that a... Uh, maybe not with that weapon. Maybe with this. It's a little sketchy, but I'm kind of... No, it's going to... That's one of the things we're supposed to be protecting. So that's not a shot we're going to do. Right, back to my original plan. Luana. None of these are actual visual places. That looks like it could be, but... Honestly, I'm not feeling it. Pushing on. Oh, they've got a person up on the top. Interesting. I wonder how we did not see them from over here. Five by five. Because that seems like a pretty pretty obvious thing to miss. Ready to fire. Uh, we could do two quick aim shots on this and get him killed though.
in the torso, do the same again. I just need the right angle. Okay, first target gone. And we can reposition, so that's good. Okay, keep moving in with Luana. Moving to coordinates. There's a defender. I'm going. I'm gonna borrow you. Moving to coordinates. We can dash you close enough to do some hammering. And I, I do particularly like the sound of that. Ah! Look, there's another one. Oh, these ones must be particularly stealthy. There goes his arm. So the defender is probably going to suffer because of my choices there. I'm fine with it. I think that's... Uh, that's nature of the uh, the beast. Interesting, we didn't end up I'm here. unstealthed doing that. Okay, Eileen, can we get you up top here? Not this turn, but maybe next turn. It'd be lovely if we could get up there. Oh, we could do it with an onslaught, probably. Here I am, let's do this! Because that's going to give us really nice views. Not a shot we can Ready to engage. really make. Oh, I suppose we can try this. Shot him in the gun. Uh, and Izzy will move you forwards. So they've gone on Overwatch. He's regened his arm. And we have other potential targets nearby. That's very painful. It's a shame about the defender, but it's not that much of a surprise. But they did very useful scouting for us. And there is more Forsaken than I was expecting. Okay, so, death from above. What are your various shots like? That's not bad. That's also pretty good. That's not very good, but it would kill him if we could. Maybe this guy. Nice. Comes <sighs> online. Boom blast. Yes. So, both of you are in a position to get bombed. Well, that was actually Using... a bit useless. Oh, disappointing. What's our plan? Okay, let's Targeting. do what we can elsewhere. 
So plink plink over this side. Firing target. Okay. One more target gone. Best they can do. Uh, and we can reposition, which is good, because that allows us to come around here and get different angles. For you. And I think we'll try and shoot him in the legs. Cool. Got him in the leg. Luana. I mean, we can... We can run you in close enough that you can kill this one and then maybe... Maybe follow up on that one. But overall, that's not good. I would like someone else to be able to... You know what? Let's move up. We'll do another run slot here. Because this is all about the efficiency. Okay. You're bleeding 10. You've got 10 health left. You are going to die. So we can now focus on Gotta keep going. our other tasks, such as killing other people. I'm going. Mm, don't care about picking that up. You would need to move around quite significantly, so let's Advancing. just tuck ourselves in here. So we're kind of like annoyingly in the way. We don't need to do an exertion. And that is as a lot anyway, so that's the boss. So, Gunness, if I bring you up here. No, I want to get you forward so you're going to have a chance at doing something there. I think I kind of want to get you here and then overwatching. So kind of like this. And then Eileen, your overwatch is not going to be them. what we need, but I can't do anything else with you right now. Let's get a decoy out. And Izzy, I'm going to put you there. Ready for next turn. Oh yeah, I forgot that there was a second priest. Second defender, I should say. This is what the Overwatch is for. Two big hits on the uh, bit of tech, but we shot through it, so that's what we needed. And he fumbled a shot. Ooh, and the big cheese is going up on the roof. And mind controlling. And then hopping down interesting well let's Steven, let's sort that mind control out right now target in sight. hi so about that big head of yours let's try that again head disabled That hasn't quite got rid of I'm here. the mind control, but it won't take much to do it. How does that taste? Huh?
Here goes nothing. We can get a grenade in between these two. That'd be quite nice. Mind control is still going on. I'm, I'm impressed. I would have thought shooting his head would have been enough to take that out. Well, let's get another onslaught and let's just keep shooting him. Oh, come on, that could have hit. That dazed him as well, so we get more shots. One more should do it. There we go. Leader falls down. Becky comes back to us. Oh, sorry, Luana comes back to us. And we get through mostly unscathed. Not bad. Well, that's a very interesting tooltip. You don't need aircraft at the bazaar. Is that new? Oh my word! This has definitely changed. Okay. So I already knew about the uh, the weapons and then like the ammo for them because they end up being super super powerful, which is really cool. You know, if you if you lean into getting a lot of um, a lot of resources, you can you can pay for the super amazing. Wait, an engine upgrade that farts out heal gas. There's a there's a lot of interesting things. Anyway, the, being able to access the marketplace without needing an aircraft there would hugely change the game, like massively. Uh, we're just going to do our level up for Gunless quickly. Mark for death, rapid clearance, and battle hardened. Very happy with that. Uh, we can now start putting your various skill points in just to improve you. So get some more willpower, my friend. Uh, and that is uh, really going to have to be it for this episode. I'm afraid we are out of time. So thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. And you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise... I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point Terror from the Void. See you soon.